Just popping in to say that the Lefties on Reddit got blown the f out by the Rittenhouse trial so far and it feels so good. Okay, if you're watching this and you've seen all the lefty progressive bullshit and, you, um, and you're and you feeling some level of vindication, you're like, yeah, this is them or whatever, blah, 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 okay? Take a step back. You should not be emotionally invested in the outcome of this trial such that it's like, yeah, f them or yeah, you know, we won or whatever, right? On an emotional level, obviously it might register a little bit. I can understand that. I feel it a little bit. I'm not perfect, obviously. Um, <clears throat> however, I evaluate Vosh and Hassan differently because I consider Vosh to be more like a political streamer and Hassan is more like pop politics or whatever. Um, but I, I tend to hold them in like different regards. So like I'll put, um, I'll put Vosh uh, like to way higher standards than I would hold Hassan. But like in terms of like farming a narrative, yeah, somebody said this here, the BPS, the bullshit per second on that statement? Hassan take. Oh boy. <laughs> what a fucking idiot, dude. You watch the white supremacist criminal justice system allow a fucking dude to walk free? I absolutely hate this fucking dog shit framing that he's gonna walk because of white supremacy. When you do this, you are actively contributing to any riot or anything that happens after the case. Progressives do this stupid shit where anytime they get a verdict they don't like, it's white supremacy. And anytime they get a verdict they do like, the system is working as intended. So when it came to, was it Derek Chauvin? What was the guy for George Floyd? That was just to serve. Thanks God, thank God, hell yeah. Our justice system is good, it works, right? But then when they get a verdict they don't like, white supremacy, this is bullshit. White, of course he's white, of course he's gonna walk. Like, look at the facts of the case. Like, <clears throat> I mean, like, we can all see everything. It's a public fucking trial. I mean, technically, every trial in the U.S. is a public trial. But, like, we're, like this is broadcasted in an unprecedented um, era. Like, you are, you are, like, this is stochastic terrorism. This type of stuff is absolutely stochastic terrorism. You are poisoning the well, and you are laying the road, the, the foundation, for the type of propaganda that people will use when they go out and enact violence later on based on misinformation. That's what you're doing. You are an actual fucking terrorist. Um, it's very irritating to hear people, I've heard this same shit repeated over and over again. Oh, of course he's gonna walk, he's white. Of course he's gonna walk. Wait, he shot white people. I feel like 30, 40% of the people that are hearing about the Rittenhouse thing think that he shot black people. He didn't shoot any black people. They were all white. Everybody here is white people, okay? <laughs> Especially everybody commenting on the trap. Every, all, we're all white people. It's all white people. There are no black people killed here. And your only point here is to be like, my favorite debate lord daddy was correct. What a huge loss. Yeah, dude, it's a gigantic loss. Guess what, dude? The American criminal justice system is incredibly racist, okay? And I'm gonna be honest, so are you, very likely. You do not care about- you do Where are my lawyers in chat? America is the best goddamn justice system in the world, okay? F these other shitter countries, okay? Our justice system is one of the few things in this country that's goddamn f awesome. Are there problems? Absolutely. Are there problems with discretion at every level? Maybe. Are there problems with, like, equitable access to, like, valuable attorneys and what? Absolutely, right? Do we have problems with our system? Absolutely. Of course we do, right? But- I think all in all, we do a decent job, okay? This, like- this shoveling, this peddling of like, our justice is completely broken, it's completely fucked. No, motherfucker, that is not true. Shut the fuck up, okay? We do a decent job, okay? The UK is better. Yeah, where I can get fined for telling a bad joke. In the UK, where if somebody sues you for libel or defamation, the onus is on you to prove that you weren't being defamatory. Fuck the UK system. Where the UK, they can put gag orders on people so you can't talk about ongoing trial. Fuck the UK, okay? I don't know much about the UK legal system, but everything I've heard about it is, is trash, okay? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. There's a reason why we're the UK 2.0, motherfucker, okay? Do not have empathy. You do not care about the things that are happening in the world. You only care about not even yourself, but someone else winning these debates that you have created. It's yeah, when you have this like blind hatred for institutions of like our whole criminal justice system is trash, blah blah blah. You're on the same level, the exact same level. Where is God Killer? No, no, no. He's getting the ready post ready. You're on the exact same level as an anti vaxxer Exactly the same. You're right there. You're right there next to them. When you say things like our entire criminal justice system is fundamentally broken and racist, you are exactly the same as an anti vaxxer I'm not equivocating. I don't mean that like, oh, maybe. No, I mean exactly. You're right there on the. You're side by side, shoulder to shoulder with them. Okay? In your mind. <clears throat> that is incredibly sad. You are a pathetic. That's a bit far. Hassan's point is that there are problems with the criminal justice system. I don't think he's writing the whole thing off. Wrong. Here is what people are doing, okay? There's, a, there's, like, there's like the stages of cope, okay? There's the stages of cope. Initially, it was obvious, because you'd read all the headlines. Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed two poor, I guess black men, maybe. They're BLM, Antifa, super soldiers, and what other brave, uh, valiant hero that was trying to find. Now that, like, the actual evidence is being forced in front of your eyes, ah, you're like the fucking goblin in the basement. Ah! 
oh, the light, oh, fuck. And now that you have to reconcile, it's like, okay, well, either one, was my narrative and every piece of media I consume a little bit biased for like a whole fucking year? Nah, they're all just white supremacist, racist. Yeah, let's go with that one. It's all just, it's all white supremacy. Motherfucker, there's no white supremacy here, okay? What is the, the white supremacist killing other white supremacists? Get the fuck out of here. You sound just as stupid as when you say, um, like when Republicans say January 6th was all Antifa. Like, get the fuck out of here. There's no white supremacy here. Have you read the Reddit comments of the big threats on RL today? God, no, but I'm sure they're absolute fucking garbage. Did anything more come out about the first guy he shot? I don't think he deserved it based like on the information at the time. Here is my understanding from a year ago. Somebody can tell me if the evidence presented has changed that, okay? Rosenbaum was generally aggressive that night, which on its own doesn't mean much. But at some point, Rosenbaum was chasing Rittenhouse, who was running away. Another guy behind Rosenbaum shot a weapon into the air. Rosenbaum got close enough to Rittenhouse to grab his rifle and then Rittenhouse fired four shots that killed Rosenbaum. That's my understanding. Has anything substantially changed from that? Or is the information the exact same as one year ago? He also threatened his life earlier, according to Rittenhouse. Is that on video anywhere? But anyway, I mean, as long as all of that is established, like, I don't really care. Like, Rosenbaum probably got, like, you know, he, he got shot, but I mean, it was probably self-defense. Do you think people are going to shit on you for the warning shot in the air might kill someone take? I personally can't wait to hear Vosh laugh at it and make us all look even more delusional. I mean, it's a big thing. Um, why did I remember hearing about this? In some middle, I feel like I saw a live leaks video on this even, but I think in some Middle Eastern countries, they would do like, like in these like crazy, like in the war torn areas, sometimes people would like celebrate and shit with uh, like shooting firearms into the air. They just shoot into the air. like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I, I think you can get, I think you can get killed with, by a falling bullet. Wait, somebody's saying Mythbusters. Did Mythbusters say you can't do that? It's called celebratory fire. Only if the bullet is fired straight up, people, yeah. I think if you fire it straight up and it comes down, you might not be able to die because the terminal velocity of the falling bullet won't be enough to kill you. But if you fire it at an angle, which you're going to do, nobody fires straight up and down, right? If you fire it at an angle, then somebody can get hit and killed. I feel like I saw a live leak speeder, somebody getting randomly Killed by a bullet. Well, I don't remember. That's been a long time. I've seen a lot of live leaks videos. Celebratory gunfire, falling bullet injuries. Oh, okay. I'm sure Vosh has been full of. Broke down, telling jurors about the moment he opened fire. Oh, close one. Okay. Jesus, they just snuck that one on us. <clears throat> ha ha ha! Destiny with physics again. There is no terminal velocity when the bullet flies horizontally. I guess omega lol. When, when a bullet is moving horizontally, the reason why terminal velocity isn't thought about as much is because you're overcoming that with an explosion of gunpowder at the start of, in the cartridge. So no, bullets don't move horizontally at a limit of terminal velocity. That's like falling down through, through an atmosphere, through some, through some medium. What, I, I, don't even, I don't even know what it would mean. Can you hit terminal velocity going sideways? Is that even possible? Am I getting stun locked by the dumbest? Is that, is that even, a, is, is that, I'm trying to imagine if that's even a real thing. My understanding is terminal velocity is moving towards center of gravity through some medium with no external accelerant like applied to the thing. Is there, is there a term, maybe, let's see, maybe the speed of causality? I, I don't know, I don't think there's terminal, I don't think there's a horizontal terminal velocity, my dude. I, but maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Maybe a physics guy will. The bullet would slow down to terminal velocity due to friction, but probably not in the, I don't, I don't think, because you, your, your horizontal, your horizontal velocity would slow to zero eventually. You have to have an acceleration applied to you. You, you, you need a, a force has to be applied to you horizontally to keep moving. If, like the terminal velocity is just zero. You just stop moving. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't think that even makes sense. I don't think you're gonna, I don't think there's a such thing as a horizontal terminal velocity. I don't, I don't, terminal velocity just refers to how fast will the force of gravity pull you towards itself through some medium, right? It's like your acceleration, I don't remember the formula, but it's the acceleration and then the, um, is it drag that you would call it or whatever? Because at some point, depending on the medium, um, you, 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 it's, gonna pu it's gonna push back more or less as much as the acceleration due to gravity and that's considered terminal velocity. Shut the fuck up. I don't know why we're talking about this. You guys are triggering the fuck out of me. Tell me. What is expected? I need a Red Bull, hold on. But I, this is high risk. It, it, to me, if, uh, it, to me if, if, if you insert more data into a, a, an area of space, well, you're what, neg wagging your head no. no Tell me where I'm wrong. There's no proof in this record that we're doing that, Your Honor. I didn't say there was proof of it. I said you have the burden of proof. You're the proponent of the exhibit, and you need to tell me 
that it's reliable. The, the exhibit is already in evidence, Your Honor. That I know. The enhanced exhibit is not in evidence. This is not enhanced. The well, if, video. then why show it? I, I, I mean, the reason you want to show it is so because it enhances the image, right? No, one, no, 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 one at a time. I'll, I'll say what Mr. Cross was just saying. The, the defense has taken videos and photos and cropped them, zoomed in on them uh, on many. Okay. So apparently the judge thinks that zooming into a video is adding pixels and therefore altering the content. Okay. Now, how old is this judge? Okay. How old is this judge? The judge is 75 years old. Okay. This judge is 75 years old. Okay. And his understanding of this technology is actually surprisingly better than almost every single one of you motherfuckers out there. I actually cannot believe it. I would never expect somebody over 50 to have an understanding of what it means to digitally zoom on something and the idea that an algorithm can parse that data and then fill in the blanks. I absolutely cannot believe that you would think that this is a crazy thing to say, that like, oh my God, that's bullshit, how could he say that, okay? There are two ways that you can upscale an image, okay? There are two ways, and if the, if the, if the subject of the case is literally writing on this enhancement, okay? It is incredibly fucking important to understand how was the image enhanced. There are two ways, all right, that you can enhance an image. So number one is we can actually make every single pixel bigger. Well, maybe I should say there are three ways. Um, there are a lot of theoretical ways you can enhance an image. We'll say in one way, we can actually make the pixels bigger, right? So what will happen is the, the picture will look more blocky, right? But we'll get a zoom. That zoom might not give us very much information. Now, one thing that you can do is, and it wouldn't surprise me if this was standard practice, is when phones or other things are zooming in on an image, what they actually are doing is they're upscaling it. They're actually increasing the resolution, but how can they do that? Because the data is not there. So they have to do some form of interpolation. They have to start adding data to the actual picture itself in order to make it look like it's not a blocky piece of shit. Now, if something is happening that is so finite on the screen that you need to zoom in digitally to see it, then how those algorithms are adding or guessing data where they're inserting pixels there, that could actually be paramount to, de to determining what's happening in the footage. So for people that are saying like, oh, it's boomer tech, oh, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely not. You are wrong and you don't know what you're talking about and you just shouldn't talk about it. If you don't know what it means to zoom on something. Now, there are some actual like cases where maybe this, so for instance, it might be the case that you're on a screen and you can zoom in and the screen's resolution is lower than the resolution of the photograph. So if you ever downloaded ultra HD porn or something, in that case, you can actually zoom in and you won't be inventing new pixels. That could be one case. Um, you also have things like optical zooms on camera. Now that's not done after an image is processed. An optical zoom will actually like zoom in on a lens. So you get like more data for real. Um, but if you're applying an algorithm afterwards to zoom in on a picture, of course there is a chance that you are adding data or maybe necessarily you're adding data to that. And that data that you add could determine how that image is viewed. So just that, that is absolutely an okay point. And if I was the defense, I would be screaming. You're trying to zoom in to prove one or two pixels is my defendant's gun? Bullshit. You either need better fucking footage or you need to prove to me that this is not an upscale, but it's literally just expanding the fucking pixels. Um, yeah, sorry. And us and Braid clear up the racking the spent shell casings and what evidence was recovered for no, each other. I thought the officer if you want to get, um, I'm sorry, real quick. Um, if you want to get it like a, a real quick meme on like how crazy like uh, the, the interpolation can be from frame to frame where there, there's like an algorithm that's trying to guess what it's seeing. Like this is a really good example of that. This actually showed up on LSF like a few weeks ago, I think. It right up. Like this is how much guessing, and this is, now it's a little bit different because we're talking streaming here, or whatever. But like, ca like cameras and algorithms can absolutely add data or make guesses about like what's in a frame or whatever. Like, 
But okay. Van Lee testified to emptying the gun one at the hospital at the at the crime scene. Yeah. Number two. The right. Number two. State is saying that my client, Paige Grossman, rewrite the gun. If yeah, there was a I understand that, and I thought that by Officer Van Wee said that there were there was a full full except for eight shots, eight bullets. But there was there was no the word I'm looking for live round found at event number two. So if there was a re-racking of that bolt, there would have been a live round. And oh, see, were, I counted and I came up with with a full load, even without <laughs> any bullet being found. And, Maybe I'm just, and additionally, that Mr. Grosswitz said he didn't know whether or not- Camera's not making any guesses. It was fuck up with camera memories, dude. I don't know what you're saying. Um, might not be super relevant, but isn't image interpolation much simpler than video codecs? No, um, I don't know how to explain this. Um, this is just a really basic thing. I don't know how to tell you at all. If I have four pixels and I zoom in on them, and they don't want, and the, and the image doesn't want it to look like this, then you're, you're gonna have an algorithm that's going to create more pixels here. Right? This is like, this is what, I, I think this is what interpolation means. To interpolate means to add something in between, in between like known values, right? In between data that you know, points of data that you know, interpolating is adding stuff in between it. But this new data is coming from a computer. You don't know that this data is real. It could, it could, this could be totally wrong. It's just adding data in between what is known, these pixels here, um, to, to try to give you like an upscaled version, right? Now, sometimes on some stuff, um, it might work really well if you're trying to like, if you're trying to upscale like a picture of nature or whatever, right? Like it's not really that complicated, maybe depending on what you're looking at, right? Or like a building or like high, like ge uh, geometric figures or whatever, right? Like, oh, it's a square, you can blow it up. Oh, it looks the same or whatever, right? Um. <clears throat> His gun had one in the chamber. Lukowski testified to it. And in fact, there is a live round right on the ground. Oh, this is, so this is what's your third? Okay, well, uh, let's deal with the realities of it. Uh, unless you gentlemen are prepared to tell me that you're going to send me your proposed instructions on uh, within uh, by four, like seven or seven or eight o'clock at night, uh, and unless you're going to tell me that you're going to argue for less than an hour and a half each, then we're going to end up either working Saturday or working on Monday. So let's take a vote here because the jury did clear Tuesday, and of course, I think I read once. That Destiny, camera is not a fucking AI to guess what data to fill in. First of all, cameras have a Fuck ton on phones. I don't even know on the phone what does more of the work. I, I legitimately don't know. On a phone, it might actually be the software that does more work than the actual physical hardware itself. There is a fuck ton of software that goes into building images that you capture on your phone, okay? Number one. Number two, we're not just talking about a picture. We're talking about an enhancement to a picture. We're talking about post-processing. Post meaning after the picture has been taken and processing, meaning that we're doing something to change the data. Right? <sighs> Jesus. That Abraham Lincoln, when he was, took a vote on the Emancipation Proclamation, all the votes were no. And then he said, well, he said, but the deciding vote is I. And so I'm gonna take a vote about what you folks wanna do, but that doesn't mean it's gonna come out the way you want. So, um, who wants to work Saturday? I'll work Saturday, I'll work Monday, I'll work Friday. Who wants to come back on Monday? <laughs> one. He's like, I need the weekend, man. I got a drink. I got a drink on Friday night, right? I ain't got time for. I can't be here all day. I'm gonna be hungover like a motherfucker. To un they don't care. To I'm gonna vote with you on Monday. So okay. So I know. I'm gonna. Is it okay if I tell the jury we are hopeful that we will conclude the case on Monday? I understand that. Is there going to be extensive rebuttal? I don't think it's gonna be extensive, but yeah. we do reserve the right to call. Sure. I'm, yeah, I understood. Well, maybe I'll tell them. I expect that we'll finish in the time which was given to us, which was included Tuesday. We'll see what happens. All right. Anything else before I call the jury now? Oh, and then I'm going to dismiss them for the day. And um, we'll start in the morning with Dr. Black. Anything else? Want the instruction press something? Is that what you uh, Yeah, you know, that'd be cool. So even, even but if you, are you telling me that that would be I'm not telling you that I'll, I'll do whatever you want. If you want, so. by eight. Okay. Right, we're talking just about the count six, right? Yeah, well, uh, I, you know what? I'll send you my preliminary. No, I won't do that. I'll send you my preliminary. What levels are they zooming into and how big was the subject of the image? I'm not sure pixel interpolation would be relevant if the subject isn't like five pixels large. So this is my, I'm guessing, because I don't actually know. Maybe we'll look at it later. But like my guess is if the thing is so small that you need to zoom in, then it's probably pretty small. I doubt that it's like, oh, this is clear, but let's just zoom in. My guess is the zoom probably made a difference. That That's a guess now, I don't know. It might be the case that the, they, they didn't need to zoom at all in the original like uncropped version would work. I don't know, I'd have to, I, maybe we'll see that later when we go over it again today. Tonight. As long as we're not going to argument until next week. Destiny. 
Okay. I, I, I would die. I would die in court defending the idea that you cannot upscale this image. Or you, you can't zoom on this. No fucking shot, Sherlock. Okay. Everything that I just told you about like interpolation and, and, and about like upscaling and all that applies a trillion times more now. Okay. This absolutely is something where algorithms are going to have to do a whole bunch of guesswork to fill in like what the fuck is actually being seen here. I, I would not, I would not trust. I would never trust this. My life was riding on, on some piece of software to invent fucking pixels to determine which way my fucking rifle is pointed. Is this supposed to be Kyle Rittenhouse holding a rifle? <laughs> this looks like the fucking Loch Ness monster. Yeah, what the fuck? I, this might be not safe for work. I might be getting banned right now. This might be a fucking titty. I don't know. He might have his dick out right now in this picture. Yeah, Jesus. I'm not gonna promise that. Let's just, cool. All right. Um, let's call the jury down. Dismiss them for the day. Okay. You don't have to send me anything tonight and I won't send you anything. Okay. Oh. Are we done for the day? A lot of zooming is just a basic nearest neighbor algorithm without any complicated interpolation, although that can still introduce artifacts. Well, I'm curious how we would fight over what the word artifact means there. Because if you're just doing nearest neighbor guessing, you're inventing reality between the pixels, especially if it's a very, right? You're literally asking the software to take a guess or, or if it's inc incredibly naive, I can't imagine as sophisticated as technology is these days. I doubt it's just averaging values between pixels, right? The, the, the actual technology is probably way more sophisticated than that. I'm sure that it favors certain types of data after like holistically analyzing the picture and comparing it to other shit. Um, but yeah, video is taken in low light. Yeah, Jesus. Destiny talking about shit he doesn't know anything about again. What did I just say that was wrong? Wait. The image of Destiny display was not nearest neighbors. Nearest neighbors interpolation ends up as a pixel perfect interpretation or interpolation. Okay. The conservatives are molding at this take. Jeffrey Two thoughts. Yeah. Two thoughts. One, what kind of idiot 17 mm. year old gets a giant gun and goes to a riot? He has no license. He has no training. He thinks he's going to scrub graffiti off with his AR-15. I mean, the stupidity of this is like, what could possibly go wrong? Well, a lot went wrong. The good news for Kyle Rittenhouse is that he's not on trial for being an idiot. He's on trial for homicide. Right. And in that respect, I mostly agree with Joey that this is a tough case for the prosecution. Be yeah. Because... It does seem like it, he has a plausible case mm. uh, of self-defense. And, you know, if, if it were illegal to be an idiot, the jails would be even freer, f even more crowded than they are now. Mm. Homicide's a different matter. And, you know, he may have a defense. I mean, everybody there is an idiot. I'm sorry, but, like, again, there is no reason to be doing, like, protests in the middle of the fucking night. Like, why, why would you do that? It's just going to be trouble. Can you give an example of a good time to protest? Not when it's night out. Bad things happen at night. Just don't be outside protesting when it's dark out. It's just, it sets you up for so many horrible fucking things to happen. Like, why? Why would you do it? Destiny, why? I, I can't answer that any further. If you need me to answer it more, then I can't give you an answer that is going to work for you, okay? Go outside at night sometime, okay? Get out, get out of your house, okay? In between recess and be between uh, JV basketball or whatever the fuck you do, go outside at night, go to some rough areas, get a few hundred or thousand people in there that are mad as fuck and see what happens, you know? I remember you misrepresenting the Zimmerman case when talking to d about Reynolds first time. Did you ever do any, what did I misrepresent? My understanding is that Z Zimmerman thought he saw a kid that was up to no good and he chased him through the fucking neighborhoods and then they got into a scuffle and then I think he shot him. But I don't know, um, I don't know what happened during the scuffle, but... Can you explain why the other side is so ideologically invested in getting shot? Because he shot and killed Le Antifa or left-leaning protesters or BLM protesters, so... I don't know what the fuck they're calling him right now. You said Zimmerman chased Trayvon down. Actually, Trayvon reached his home but turned back and attacked Zimmerman according to forensic evidence. So you're telling me that Zimmerman... I'll go look it up right now if you want. You're telling me that Zimmerman did not see Trayvon. I think he might have called the police or somebody? and then continued to like pursue him? You're telling me that did not happen? He pursued, yeah, I thought he literally was on the phone with them and they were like, he was like, do you want me to, do you want me to follow? Do you want me to follow? And I thought the operator was like, no, you don't need to, it's okay. And he's like, I'm gonna follow him or whatever. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, okay? 
Visual explanation of what you're talking about with interpolation. Two by two image, three by three screen, what happens? I don't know how you would do an image going from this resolution to the next. I don't think you're usually working with such low numbers because this this would look like garbage no matter what would happen. But but I do think generally when you're moving from one resolution to the next, you do at the very least want the um you, you want them to be like easily divisible numbers for aspect ratio or whatever, right? Like not like um, 1280p upscales really well to 1920p that upscales decently well to 1440p that upscales decently well to um, is it 38 is it 4320p technically oh no no it's times two it's 2160p because times two horizontally is times four by area I think yeah. hey Destiny usually a YouTube vod nerd just popping in to say that the lefties on Reddit got blown the fuck out by the Rittenhouse trial so far and it feels so good okay if you're watching this. And you've seen all the lefty progressive bullshit, and you um, and you're feeling some level of vindication. You're like, yeah, this is fuck them or whatever. Blah 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 blah. Okay. <clears throat> I would say, take a step back. Take a deep breath. Okay. You should not be emotionally invested in the outcome of this trial, such that it's like, yeah, fuck them or yeah, you know, we won or whatever. Right. Don't if I would just. On an emotional level, obviously, it might register a little bit. I can understand that. I feel it a little bit. I'm not perfect, obviously. Um, <clears throat> however, try, like looking at politics through that lens of "fuck them," I was right, they're wrong, or whatever. Be careful about that stuff, okay? Don't you don't want to get you don't want to run down that rabbit hole. You don't want like the outcomes of court cases to determine whether you're going to be happy or sad for the day. Vosh segment when it happens. Wait, what is this? So. Uh, uh, right-wing terrorists murdering people for no reason. Pro? Against? Here in the fair and balanced Vosh news, uh, sec- Vosh news coverage, uh, we're gonna take a look at both sides. The pro arguments are... The rest of this segment will be covering the, the, the con side. Uh, so... Two people are dead and a third injured in an overnight shooting in Kenosha, police say. Who, how the fuck are we supposed to trust police? Let's take a look at the video. Oh yeah, don't look at the video if you don't want to see people die, by the way. Fair warning. Whoa, I said- Fair warning. Uh, yeah. This was Vasha's initial coverage of it? <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I'm just remembering back to a year ago when I was playing that fucking game. Uh, I'm gonna, I wanna show you uh, him crying though, cause it's funny. So I'm just gonna cover that part. Here. It doesn't show, it's a still image, but I don't wanna risk it, you know what I mean? There were people right there. He really looks like a pig? I mean, he's like, he is, he's a fucking, he's a pig. <laughs> like, like, um, I tuned in during the beginning and the judge dismissed the defense for wanting to call one of the dudes involved as a mental hospital patient. Um, bro, what is even the defense? The dude murdered two people for no reason. Uh, the defense is he is a good, wholesome white Christian boy who traveled, uh, to Kenosha specifically so he could defend someone else's fucking, uh, property. I mean, uh, who amongst us has not done that? That's totally normal. Uh, and then was uh, acting out in self-defense, you know, because people just, these, uh, rioters and these looters, they, they hate the notion of private property and they're rioters and looters and that's precisely why uh you know they they wanted to kill him they wanted to murder him because he was a big defender of patriotism because conservatives are under attack a lot of fucked up shit happened he was also walking around there's like so damn dude i try i don't i try to i evaluate vosh and hassan differently because i consider vosh to be more like a political streamer and hassan is more like pop politics or whatever i don't know what the fuck you would call whatever like um frankenstein of like Socialist larvae entertainment plus pretending to read anything about the news is I don't know what you would call us on but I, I, I tend to hold them in like different regards So like I'll put um, I'll put Vosh uh, like to way higher standards than I would hold us on um, But like in terms of like farming a narrative Yeah, somebody said this here the BPS the bullshit per second on that statement was actually impressively high um, Holy shit like there was like so much dumb shit said in like two sentences. I actually couldn't believe it um, but I guess, yeah, when you're like, when you're left-wing Alex Jones, I guess that's what you do. Think about being a medic? 
No, I think he did actually, I mean, some people do that. They do bring like uh, medical supplies with them. That doesn't change the reality that like, here's what you do when you want to fucking bring medical supplies to an active situation where shit could pop off. Not your fucking AR-15 that you're brandishing and just the medical supplies. That's what you do. I'll, t I'll repeat this again. Brandishing doesn't mean open carry. Open carry and brandishing are not the same thing. Brandishing is when you aggressively use a weapon, you're like threatening with a weapon. Just an open carry, or just a weapon slung around your shoulder, is not kind of brandishing a firearm. The medic was the guy he didn't kill but was shot. Yeah, like... <laughs> Imagine risking your life for someone else's property. I mean, he wasn't even like technically risking his life. Uh, he was trying to get a legal kill. Like, that's what he was trying to do, and he got... If, where is the evidence for that? Like, where is the evidence that he was trying to kill somebody? I don't know if I, I think I said this before. There was somebody that was like, one of the, this happened after my departing and everything. Oh God, I just got an email from Riot Games about Arcan. I thought I got banned. <laughs> um, he, like, this, this happened after my first big Rittenhouse blow, but then it kind of influenced my opinion afterwards. I, I think I said this on stream, and I'm sure it's probably all public footage now, but somebody that was in, um, Somebody that was in Rittenhouse's circle of friends, like, emailed me uh, Snapchat videos that they'd saved from his story or whatever. And all of the shit from him, like, I think a week or two before his, um, b before, before he went to Kenosha, it was, like, him going around, like, cleaning off graffiti off of walls and shit. And I think there might have been, like, videos of him, like, posing next to cops, or he was part of, like, the junior cop bullshit or whatever. Like, he just, he seemed like they showed it in trial. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, there you go. Um, it, it, it just, it seemed like he's just, like, a, like a... I wouldn't call him a country boy, I guess. Like a good old boy or whatever. No, that's not... I shouldn't say that. He just wants to be like a good... Like he loves cops in America and protecting and cleaning graffiti and keeping their... That's what it seems like he is. Yeah. Got it. This is what happens when you get a fucking legal kill. Except the problem is everyone is also uh, uh, turning him into a hero. So this is like the greatest thing that could have happened to like internet conservatives. You know what probably goes to help turning him into a hero? Is when the other side is trying to make him a fucking villain. You know, if you don't want the hero worship to happen, then stop trying to villainize the fuck out of him, right? The easiest take would have been seeing what I saw and saying like, oh, that's shitty. Looks like it was probably self-defense and then walk away from it. And if other people want to turn him to hero or whatever, that's cringe. Let them do their cringe shit. But when you're constantly villainizing him, of course, you're going to get pushed back from the other direction. Of course, that's going to happen. Vilify? What did I say? Villainize? Is villainize a word? Vilify is definitely a word. Wait, is villainize a word? Because the greatest thing that could have happened uh, to internet conservatives is this, because this is their fantasy. This is like the psychopathic, bloodthirsty fantasies that they've all had. Okay? Reddit was going off the shelf. Uh, psychopathic, bloodthirsty fantasies. When we literally have footage of Assange saying shit like, drag those cops through the street, drag the bloody corpses, let the streets run red with the blood of uh, landlords. Like, okay. Uh, off the, off on the self-defense shit, lol. He's crying without getting tears. Fake fuck. It doesn't even matter, dude. Like, it doesn't matter. It's like, it, it, like the, the this was a performance for the jury towards the end of his breakdown. Just for the break, he should have been most distraught. Check it out. He glances over. This was a performance for the jury towards the end of his breakdown. Just before the break, when could Rick you imagine how much left wing Stephen Crowder here would be losing his fucking mind if somebody was implying the same about like George Floyd's like family members or like any black person or whatever um, that's like on the jury crying for literally anything ever. They're like, oh my God, it was fake black person tears. He'd be like losing his mind. Like, come on, dude. Like, even if you, even if you think that Kyle is guilty of everything and even if you thought he's like a horrible, even if you believed all of that, even if we granted literally every single proposition, even if we granted every part of that, it's still totally possible that he's actually traumatized because he shot three people and killed two of them, right? Like, it, I, I, we can all believe that. Even if it was, even if all of it was faked, right? Or, or not fake, I'm sorry. Even if all of it was like intentional and evil and all that shit, he still might have a traumatic reaction to it. Like, that's just such a weird thing to accuse somebody of faking. The kid is like, I don't know if he's 18 now, but he was like 17 when he shot three people. Like, Jesus. House should have been the most distraught. He was glancing over to the jury with very calm eyes. <laughs> what is this clip chimping? This frame chimping? <laughs> what the fuck? Prosecutor literally started by blaming video games and then threats of mistrial. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it was dog shit from top to bottom. And if any of you motherfuckers think that, like, in a situation where, like, a black nationalist, you know what I mean? Like, a pan-African black uh, nationalist, like, one of the not-fucking-around coalition guys shot two fucking white people uh, and, and traveled across state lines with a gun that he wasn't supposed to have on him and shot two white people. If you think that, like, the self-defense uh, aspect would work, you are literally delusional. Like, you're insane. First of all, he wouldn't have been able to walk away. They would have killed him immediately. Uh, so, you know, cops would not be like, hey, here's some water bottles for you, sir. Thanks for all your good... Sir, thanks for your service, kind sir. They would just literally fucking murder him on the spot. Oh, also, real quick, and somebody can tell me if there was other footage. We'll go back to this over the next couple of days, so I get curious or whatever. Somebody can tell me if there was footage that proved this different, okay? Again, this is all old footage that I saw, so maybe something's different, right? My understanding is that when the cops came down the street, they didn't know that Rittenhouse had shot people, right? They didn't, they had no fucking idea. They were just like coming down the street. There had been fireworks and firecrackers and shots going off all night long. They just saw some kid approaching the cars and then he left. Also, if you want to compare this to a left wing versus right wing shooting, and I know I'm almost positive that Assange was one of the motherfuckers that gave this bullshit line out, that the cops went and assassinated this guy. Remember that left wing dude that shot and murdered that Trump supporter like at point blank? on the street, what did that dude do? That guy ran the fuck home and was giving fucking media interviews, okay? Until the cops finally went to his house and like, and I guess tried to arrest him, there was a shoot and he killed him, right? Like, where's your, there, how about that comparison? Wait, what is this? We don't even have to engage in the hypothetical because Trump openly assassinated a white anti-fascist who shot a white na Like, how stupid- Oh my god! Oh, I gotta- <laughs> Give me- I just need it one second. I, I don't want to get banned. Let me just take a break. Just to be clear about the difference between these two things, okay? Just to be clear about the difference between these two things, alright? Rittenhouse got into his altercation, and he turned himself in, 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 about, in about one hour, okay? The other guy ran to his house, called and started doing media interviews and was shot and killed by police like four days later, okay? How the fuck can you compare these two people? How rotted is your fucking brain to actually think that these two cases are comparable? <sighs> That's all I'll say. It would have been shorter too, but Kenosha Police Department was barricaded up so he had to go to the Antioch Police Department and ask for Kenosha. Oh, sure. Destiny, is he comparing them in that sense? In the sense the time taken for police action? He's, try he's trying to draw the comparison that, like, Trump openly assassinated a white anti-fascist who shot a white nationalist patriot prayer dude in Portland. That's that, every part of this statement. For, so what is the, what is, is it that Trump himself ordered the FBI to go and assassinate? Like, that, do you have any idea how brain, I, I, uh, I don't want to, I actually don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm good. I don't, I don't, there's like literally nothing to say. Okay, but that's not strictly speaking of the timetables between both cases, to be fair, right? I'm just saying that, like, the difference between, like, if we can ascribe character to both of these people is vastly different in terms of, like, what their perceived guilt, how, how responsible they felt they were for what happened, right? If somebody's involved in a self-defense homicide and they turn themselves into police, like, an hour or two later, right? I'm gonna look at that differently than somebody that flees to another fucking state and starts calling media to do fucking interviews and gets, you know, cornered by police four days later, right? Premium Hassan meme material. Okay, enough, I don't wanna do more Hassan shit. I'm gonna get triggered. See, that was a, a, a racial joke. That was kind of funny, I think. See, that was a, a, a racial joke. That was kind of funny. Okay, this was, whoever linked this is dumb as fuck. I don't know why you like this. Um, let's see, mixed dipshit, Vivian Wolf. What can I say? We'll never know whether his self-defense claims would hold up in court because an unmarked van filled with known Nazi associates rolled up and gunned him down the street with no warning. I already know, and I would put money on it without even having looked into it because I know the type of person you are, Vivian. If I were to ask you to prove to me that any of the people involved in that were known Nazis, my guess is you're going to link me one Facebook post that was liked by a person that's in the same group as like a family member of one of the people that rolled out of that van, 100%. Like, the, like if you're ever curious, like who is a Nazi or what a Nazi is, like the worst people you can ask are lefties. Oh my God, I don't even know if you guys know what these what, what it even means to be a Nazi or a fascist. I have no idea. Yeah. Everybody's a Nazi or fascist, you guys. It's funny because you all get mad at that. Um, who is the, oh God, the McCarthy guy. You guys are like the, 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 the left wing version of McCarthy's today. Like Jesus Christ. Um, Cross-examination, I guess. Do you wanna, do we wanna watch that? Or is it old news now? The Gage Witness. <laughs> this is a good meme. 
Lefty is pivoting from attacking Kyle to defending the Portland shooter over self-defense. Passing by conservative is pivoting the other way. <laughs> Earlier, you said Rittenhouse driving across state lines was the same as your work. My understanding is that Rittenhouse's town from the from Kenosha was like 15 minutes away. VRGGEZ. Wait, were you gifted a sub? How is somebody this fucking stupid? I've seen you consistently type dumb shit in my community. Why are you fucking subbed to me? Oh, I'm sorry. It might be 30 minutes away. I saw somebody post a Google Maps thing earlier, and I thought it said 15 minutes. His dad and cousins all live in Kenosha, too. Apparently Kyle worked nearby and drove- Yeah, I thought he worked in the summer. I'm a schizo. I'm a protected class. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, this is another one. Bro, how are- Is this person a progressive? Writer, Jersey Girl in PDX, Boy and Cat Mom, former radio DJ, contributor to The Hill Reporter, Tara Dublin. I don't know who this person is. This person tweets, so she tweets a picture of Kyle Rittenhouse's face. And she says, and that's the same face Kyle Rittenhouse will make during his first time in the prison shower. Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, LOL male rape. Holy fuck. Hold on. I was supposed to angry tweet at her for this. Fuck, I'm gonna look like I'm obsessed with written ass. Maybe if I'm upset, maybe if I simp hard enough for Kyle on a... Uh... <laughs> Could you imagine if I put together a fucking like... Um... Clash team of League with like fucking Kyle Rittenhouse, Lauren Southern. Who <laughs> we need two more alt writers. <laughs> Not that either of them are alt right, by the way. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, link me the um, link me the judge screaming at the dude. We can watch that. That's a good one. Oh, donos. Yeah, I'll do that too. Here, let me catch up on donos and we'll watch the judge getting mad. I'll be back one sec. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. intellectually. True. I think that the Rittenhouse thing has become a really good litmus test for how intellectually honest you are or willing to engage with stuff that might not necessarily be in your political aisle. Because holy fuck. Holy fuck. There have been so much brain dead. So much, so many brain dead takes on this shit where it's like, really? Like, you cross state lines, you can't defend him so anywhere. Really? That, we want to go with that argument, bro? Like, so what? Are it, I'm trying not to be too hyperbolic. Could I kill an illegal immigrant in the United States because they weren't supposed to be here? Because that's actually illegal, crossing the border illegally. Like, it, it's so crazy because when the Rittenhouse stuff came out, all of a sudden, every lefty became really big pro-borders and pro-curfew. Like, in the biggest coin flip ever. I've never seen more stringent border enforcement advocates and, and curfew enforcement advocates my entire life than when the Rittenhouse stuff started happening. All of a sudden, it's like, why was he out there at night? He should have been there. Why did he cross state lines? Like, damn. I don't know, that just seems a little bit uh, a little bit interesting. He already talked to you and he expressed all of his opinions about it. Yeah, but that was before the court case started and now everybody is seeing like what the actual facts of the matter are. Before, you could kind of bullshit. And even before also, um, even before I said a lot of the same, not 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 as crazy as everyone else, but I said like, it might be possible that there is some footage that exonerates Rosenbaum. Maybe Rittenhouse was running around early, being like, I'm gonna kill all you motherfuckers here, like just wait. And then people started chasing him off. That could have been the case. And no, it's not the case now. I was going to say, if it does happen in the future, but like, if it did happen, if it came out during the, the trial that he was doing that, then um, then yeah, in that case, fuck Rittenhouse. He's guilty for the first killing and probably for the second and the third shooting as well, maybe. Um, legally speaking, Rittenhouse's case is tough because there's so much statutory latitude for people to use deadly force, put themselves in a position to benefit from that. Maybe he didn't even break any... Maybe he didn't even break our fucked up laws, but something truly insidious happening. This guy, I don't think is a real lawyer. I don't believe this guy. Um, he spends way too much time on Twitter and he gives so many dog shit opinions. Um, I, this guy is a, a fucking loser. This guy tweets almost nothing of value. This guy is like the slightly more educated version of the squirrel dipshit. This guy is insane. There's a theory that the prosecution knew they didn't have a strong case, but it's optically better than not pressing charges. <sighs> I feel like... There's a decent chance of that. Um, like, 
imagine if the DA says we're not going to press any charges against Rittenhouse. I think that could be the case. But. So, I mean, like, I, and also, also, because people say, people keep talking about how, like, oh, like, blah, 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 like, this case should have never been tried. It's okay that they try the case, too, right? I mean, like, it's okay that they try it, and if he's exonerated, or not exonerated, but, like, he's allowed to, you know, self-defense to get rid of the hum uh, murder shit. That's fine. Like, that's just the process working as it, um, it's the process working as it should be.